My Pet Called Loneliness Original writing by Squirry, narrated in English I have a pet called Loneliness. She is a cute, furry little animal, looking like the in-between of a rabbit and a cat. On good days, she is docile and quiet, hiding in a corner, taking a nap, or doing her own things. When I play with her and gently pat her, she purrs softly and snuggles up to me. On the days she needs attention, she would pounce on me when I least expect. She claws me a bit, and that could be a little painful. She also whines loudly when I ask her to quieten down. One such day, she got restless. You are disturbing the neighbors, loneliness. I pointed my finger at her nose. She continued to make louder noises to get all the attention she could. I won't like you anymore, loneliness. If you continue to misbehave, I threatened. She was hurt. She pretended that she did not care. She concentrated on scratching the sofa. I pulled her aside. She froze at the same time, fuming with anger. We did not speak for the next few days. She was angry at me. I pretended not to see. I did not want to spend time at home with loneliness, so I stayed out more. One night when I returned home late, loneliness was gone. She disappeared, perhaps leaving from the open window. It was raining outside. I got worried and looked out from the window, hoping to catch sight of her sitting on the street below. The street was dark and empty, except for the puddles of rain vibrating with the reflections of streetlights. I felt so guilty that I had ignored her and left her all alone. It must be terrible for loneliness, and she had left me for good. I cried to sleep that night. The next morning, I woke up to a soft, damp, pillow-like thing next to me. When I opened my eyes, I almost cried out of joy. Loneliness was back beside me, looking back at me innocently. Loneliness, where have you been? I hugged Loneliness, squeezing her so tight, like squeezing water out of a wet towel. She was shivering a little, drenched from head to toe. Oh my Loneliness, I am sorry. I shouldn't have ignored you and left you alone. I should have cared for you. She replied, as she tugged her head into the warmth of my embrace. I am so glad you are back, Loneliness.